Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Mata Minecraft. We're playing Seablock Rustic Waters and we're gonna continue on where we left off in the last episode and that is by crafting some stuff, which is the rat upgrade combiner. And then we're also gonna make with five cheese and four prismarine that I didn't grab. We need one more, thank you. Uh, we can make a rat upgrade basic, which we can then combine with some clippings and trimmings and make it into a rat upgrade combined and that should complete this quest. There we go, and we get five gems of Ratlantis. Okay, those I believe are, as it says, place multiple gems of Ratlantis in the bottom slot to fuel the machine. And we can even turn those gems into a rat upgrade combined, apparently, with feral rat claws and, okay, too many things that I don't know. All right, so here we need to make the rat upgrade warrior, and I believe, uh, we're not there yet because this requires artisan from the knives. I don't think that is a problem. And the silver chest plates, oh, are just craftable. So I guess we can make that. Yeah, that should be doable. We have uh, enough flint. Yeah, that should be enough. Uh, do we have enough silver though to make four chest plates? We have one, two, three, four. I'm probably gonna need regret this decision, but you know, quests are quests. Uh, we need some sticks and some string, and then we can come over here, make ourselves some flint knives, one, two, three, four, and then we can make, I have a rat upgrade basic. No, I made it into the combined thing. Right, okay, one, two, three, four of these, and then five more cheeses, and then we can make a rat upgrade basic, and then we can make Rat Upgrade Warrior. Nice. And we get one Rat Upgrade Buccaneer, which can gains an automatic firing of a cannon. All right. And we get an I.I. Captain giving unnecessary 16th century firepower to a rat. Yeah, that is unnecessary. All right. Uh, let's just toss all of these in here. We're going to put the combiner here, which has a lot of uh, magical particles. Okay. So we put the Rat Upgrade combined in here and then another, okay. We're not gonna deal with that just now. Okay, so I wanted to read through here because it says that this pack is resource intense as you may have already gathered. Recipes require a lot more resources than normal. For that reason, the pack is balanced to give you a lot more resources from strainers, ember quarries, void miners. So do not hesitate to craft more for later when you come across quests asking for plates, pipes, and other components. It will save you trips back to the crafting table to remake items. And a tip, know that all, not all resources come from the strainers or your ember quarry. Some resources are required to manually mine them and at least until you get more capable quarries. Lampage diamonds, emeralds, and omega ore can be found in the nether. Infinity ore is found on many planets over the void in the end. As you progress, these areas will open up for your, for your exploration. Okay, well the text submit and that should just complete that. Right, so let's just begin here. We've kind of completed everything in the first tab, except for these two quests, which I think are just repeatable quests. Or maybe you just get, uh, maybe they're not repeatable, but this is goo pack heat. I forget uh, how you make these. Oh, it's the magma shards, which is block of charcoal in the, in the fire. I mean, that's doable. And then it's the, the woe and cotton. So we need more string, which we currently have a, a couple we only have two string left, I think. Yeah, uh, so we need more string, which is made with uh, the whole thing with the, the vines, right? Yeah, yeah, the vines or wool, uh, but wine vines are leaves, so we could potentially turn all of these leaves into vines if we wanted to. I'm gonna toss the clips and trimming in there as well. Uh, so maybe we'll do that in between cuts here. I'll, I'll just craft these up, but let's go into making some other stuff here. For example, this requires just some treated wood and some iron, which I think we can muster together. So we have treated wood in here. So let's just make an iron block. And then let's make the blacksmith's workshop. Oh, it's not gonna do the thing. Okay, blacksmith. It, there's a work table and a workshop. Okay, so we'll get the workshop and we get one storage upgrade. And then the next one is an engineer's workshop, which is a copper block. That's doable. Let's grab nine of those. Boom. And then um, I'll just do work sh workshop and we can find it in here probably. Just have to look at what it looks like. So it has like the copper bits on top. Okay. 
Uh, and then we have the Taylor's Workshop. And here we get one prospector. Uh, this allows you to craft wire circuits and other gadgetry and the blacksmiths crafts armor tools and parts for use in other workshop okay the tailor's workshop is right here which requires one fabric mesh okay that one we're gonna need wool for so that's fine and then the chemist's workshop requires a tempered glass block that i believe we have left ba -ba -ba. carp uh, was uh, the, 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 the chemist Nice. And here we get some enlightened clear glass. All right. And here we need to make some artisan pliers that, whoops, we can do because we have a tiny bit of string. So pliers, artisan, did it say iron pliers? Or did, yeah, iron pliers. All right. And we get four red centers of principles. They will be necessary for the vast majority of your crafts. They will lose durability with each craft. Some crafts require more durability than others. Crafting tools out of better materials will give them more durability. Well, that makes sense. And the artisan iron soldering iron. Okay, iron sold thing. Okay, that's one piece of clay. We got that. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. We get redstone conductance coils, and here is an artisan razor, which we can't make, but an artisan iron beaker. Iron beaker. It's gonna be a couple pieces of glass. Do we have regular glass? I have glass panes. All right. Um, bam, bam. Almost there. We got it. Beaker. Nice, and we get six winding gears, all right? Uh, and then for this one, we just need more string. So let me take all of these leaves and I will turn them into string uh, with the help of some vines and a lot of crafting in over there. I'm gonna have to make some uh, purified water so we can just do that and get it cooking. Uh, and I'll be back once I have everything done. <laughs> And here we have a tailor's workshop. I have turned all of the wood in, or all of the vines into string. So we have that here now. And for that, we need to make an artisan's iron razor. So let's see how we make that iron razor. Razor, I said. That is a piece of planks, a string, and two iron. Uh, do I have any sort of planks left? I do not. So let's grab a little bit of wood here and turn that like so. There we go, a Tristan Iron Razor. Awesome, you can go in here. I've already put all of the other ones down with all of their corresponding tools uh, in here, which is nice. And we get some wiring kits, which I have no idea what these are used for. To craft a multi-tool wrench, apparently, and to make redstone coils and to make uh, an empty, oh God. Oh, that's a bit different. All right, sure. Okay, uh, so let's also collect uh, two golden apples here. Lovely. Uh, I will just put the random miscellaneous things that I don't know what they're gonna do uh, in our uh, something something chest. I need some sort of organization, but we're gonna get a lot of different things from a lot of different resources. Uh, and I just don't know where to put things to have them organized where I can find them. Um, okay, so the gears, you're gonna go in here, storage upgrade there and prospector all good string can go in here now and that should be pretty cool all right let's put the plastic waste as well in here wonderful okay so here we need to make some solder wire which is going to be made with some solder blend which is pulverized lead and tin dust in a chemist's work table or a chemist's workshop all right so we need to pulverize some two pieces of lead and one piece of tin, and that's gonna get us how much wire? That gives us two blend, so it gives us, so we need two, four, six lead and three tin, because we don't have that much resources right now. And even though it said that, it's so weird, the scrolling. Uh, even though it said that I should probably make more than I uh, need to, I'm gonna just complete the quest right now and we're gonna probably get upgraded machines later which, in which we can make things a bit faster. 
This will make us some solder blend, which we will then toss in here for smelting. And in between, we'll see what we need to make these. Our bricks and dry reef. Okay, the dry reef is just coral reef smelted. Uh, I don't have a lot of this. I have six total. So we need uh, quite a bit of it. So I'm going to have to go downstairs and mine a bit. Do I have another brew of any kind? I do not. Uh, the brew is... Uh, I think it's Bali, Bully. Does it not show me the brew? Because there was a quest for it. Quest, quest, quest. Here, Bully's brew. Despite not showing JI, Bully's brew can be crafted. They require turbo tubes from rocket switches and compressed leaves. With the use of, view the uses of either of these ingredients or like the potion icon in the right. Yeah, yeah. So it's compressed blocks of leaves, a glass bottle and turbo tubes. So I need to go hunt some squid if I want more of those. Uh, but one thing that I didn't show that we set up actually, which is going to help us in a way, we have some bubbles here. You can see some of them are going up, some of them are going down. So we can just uh, use the magma blocks here to go down really fast. And I can probably manage to get some dry reef from right over there. So if we just swim over, we're going to collect a bit and hopefully get enough for our kiln bricks and then we can craft them up. So for the kiln bricks, we need an artisan's trowel of any kind, and we can now just craft eight of these, which should, I believe, complete us the quest here. Here we go, time to kiln. The immersive engineering kiln will allow you to make alloys without having to combine ore dusts first. It is not extremely fast, but it can be automated. Check JEI for recipes, place eight kiln bricks down in a 2x2 formation and hit it with the engineer's hammer. Have an abundance of leaves laying around, you can craft bully brews using leaves and rocket squid drops. Okay. And we get the engineer's hammer. Okay, that's enough. lovely. So where do we have a space for this? Right here. <laughs> uh, not really, but that's the kiln. Uh, we can see, yeah, we can combine ingots directly into different uh, alloys, which is really nice. Uh, we need some fuel in here, so let's toss in uh, just these charcoal chunks, if that works, or mini coals. Uh, wonderful. So I have the other bits smelted, these solder wires. So... Why did it, oh, the text submit? Yeah, okay. We get a melted solder bucket. So navigating JI can prove to be challenging in a pack with this many custom recipes. Remember to check every tab at the top of the GUI before you come to the conclusion that you can't craft something with your current level of technology. Some recipes like molten solder are crafted directly in a bucket. So make sure to check the recipe when you're doing JI. So recipe, uh, let's collect this. So, okay, you can get solder wire and make melted sol solder buckets. And what are these used for? Uh, so this is used in a thermal pile to provide conductivity. Um, okay, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> okay, so dungeon crawling. It says to craft dynamite too. As you travel the ocean, you will undoubtedly come across dungeons to navigate. Pesky spawners will be scattered about and tough to get to. Thankfully, there's a specific level of dynamite that is the perfect blast power to destroy a spawner without damaging too many blocks around it. Throw it with caution. Okay. Dynamite. So dynamite one doesn't have a crafting recipe. This is turbo tubes and gunpowder. I think we have exactly one turbo tube. All right. Um, I need to go apparently hunt rocket squid for this quest, so that's not gonna happen right now. Okay, the steam hammer is a slow but automatable way to craft plates. It uses less metal than the blacksmith table recipe, but requires a constant flow of water and coal to produce its steam. The steam hammer requires a diamond level pickaxe to break. If you don't have one yet, use a moving one then you, when you need to re relocate it. Okay, sure, and we get soundproofing. So this is crude iron and two pistons. Pistons are just regular crafting recipes, so I'll make those. And then the crude iron, I believe, was a iron block tossed in a uh, pit of fire. So I have, I think, all my iron on me. Uh, I think we need possibly two recipes of this. Uh, we have five crude iron left. So the steam hammer requires the blacksmith workshop with an artisan's hammer. Uh, okay, that is going to be some string. Uh, I have some sticks, and I think we can just make it out of stone. So we're going to do that, that, and that. Actually, it was like this. Where did um, <clears throat> my cobblestone go? Like that. Hammer. Artisans. Oh, it's a uh, ha. Huh. Yes, of course. It is a uh, regular stone. There we go. Awesome. 
So we're gonna toss that in our, is it the blacksmiths? I think. Can we not have all of the three things in here? Apparently not. Uh, why do you give, give me pliers when, oh, this is required to make plates and things and drills and all that good stuff. All right, so uh, hammer requires one, two, three, four, five, ten, uh, 14 iron. So if we toss another nine, oh, that's gonna be perfect. Okay, cool. So let's grab our flint and steel, toss you in there, bam. Them. Can I sneak? No. Magnet. Stop being too magnetic. No. Stop. There we go. Crude iron. Uh, let's toss this in here. And let's see if we can make this. Uh, we needed the pistons, right? So that's going to be a couple pieces of redstone. I hate you, scroll wheel, <laughs> for not working properly. Uh, and some cobblestone. Okay, so piston. One, two, there we go. And we can toss that and that, and then bam, 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 bam. Whoops, boop, boop. there we go. Steam hammer, awesome. Uh, so I don't wanna place this just yet. Uh, well, actually we get the diamond pickaxe so we can re replace it whenever we need to. Okay, so that's just a one by one thing. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just toss this uh, down here to despawn cause I don't need it anymore because this one will last for quite a bit. All right, so this requires uh, what? Can you show me the recipes? Hammer uses. Okay, so you take one iron ingot and you turn it into a plate and you require steam. So, oh yeah, it requires water and coal, it said. So coal in here, water in here probably, and it will make steam. So if we take some water right here, that goes in there. Let's grab a uh, like half of these coals and you're gonna burn it into, okay, you need to burn it for temperature. Okay, so mini coals are not really a good thing to do here, but we do get steam out of this. All right. And then you can take some, some sort of ingot or something and then turn it into plates. And it keeps on burning the coal until the temperature gets up too high. Okay, good to know. And then it falls 10 at a time, so that's really fast. All right, so let's uh, not use that just yet. Uh, okay, a very capable tank is a fluid tank. It can push and pull liquids from its sides without the use of pipes. Uh, we can make that okay. So here we get into a bit of a more complicated recipe. So we need a whole lot of steps to get to a whole lot of places. Okay. Uh, and then here it's a forged lexicon, which is cyan corals and a book. Uh, that I think we can do. I have a single cyan coral, well, a couple. Uh, so we need to go grab a couple of those and have brand art, meaning they produce items that are per specific mod only. When there's a situation which requires swapping between two same type items from different mods, you can use the forged lexicon to convert them. Uh, but a recipe, for instance, if you come across an IE copper plate, but the recipe will only accept a TE copper plate, you can toggle the forged lexicon into empowered mode using the hotkey and switch the material between the two mods. Okay, so here we need once you get a bit of power and start producing some steel, you can craft the metal press, the piece of machinery. Okay. This is getting slightly overwhelming a little bit. Um, so why don't we possibly make a satchel uh, and then go hunt uh, possibly some rocket squid, uh, if I can find any, uh, and see actually, uh, see what we can find. I picked up my pickaxe, go away. So there's a rocket squid. What if we grab our bow, which is in here, and our beautiful arrows, and then I clean up my inventory and we go hunt a couple of those, make some bully brews, and then we go explore the ocean a little bit. How does that sound? So rocket squid aren't that common. So what I decided to do is just cheat the system a little bit, even though we're kind of getting cold, which I totally forgot about, but you can get O2 by just uh, grabbing a bucket out of the world here. <clears throat> and apparently here is the way in, into this village thing, and hopefully it, um, it's blocking. Can I go down the ladder without? <sighs> Game, why must you be the, this way? Okay, let's grab a little bit of this prismarine. Oh, lag, hello, oh, we're back, okay. So let's grab a couple bits of this prismarine. We're gonna come down here. 
Can I block this water off somehow? Okay, I need more prismarine. So um, let's go up here. Okay, that's gonna make it flow from the top, so that's not good. Let's go around. Let's grab a couple blocks here. Get in here. There we go. Can we get in now? Nice. All right, let's see what there is to see. I have my wonderful stone axe for, for fighting mobs because this is all danger zone area place. Uh, we have also random holes in the thing, but we have uh, a dispenser with a whole lot of buckets and we have uh, people. Okay, you can give me a yo-yo for 500 gil. All right. Um, yeah, that's, uh, no, I'm good. Okay, you have also beds. You have a treasure chest. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna save those and we're gonna open them up uh, when we get uh, to base or back to home. So let's see, okay, that has the whole minecart things. What are you? Trash void. We'll take it, sure. We have farmland where we can grow crops. Uh, we also have another house with more treasure chest and a whole lot of uh, thingies. All right, I'm gonna grab those. I don't know if I need them. Another treasure chest, another water filter. Sure, we'll take it. And here we have a whole lot of bookshelves, so we'll take those as well, because books are nice. All right, I don't think I need beds that much, really. We also have uh, blocks of quartz. I can probably just chisel those into regular quartz. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely grabbing these. And enlightened clear glass. Oh, that's oh, actually, that's gonna make mobs spawn here. So let's uh, just leave that be. And we can, uh, we can grab it later. Uh, speaking of mobs. Hacha. Hacha. Gotcha. Nice. What are you? Uh, I can buy a basic ambassador again bank for a thousand gills. Or for 200 gills, I can buy some ME conduits. Oh, you sell ki kind of like everything and or IO. All right, uh, I can't make a whole lot of money just yet. So we'll, we'll have to wait on that, I guess. Uh, but we can grab the quartz from here though, which is really cool. And I'm loving the magnet because it's making picking stuff up really, really easy. Uh, also, I would love to block this in. So we don't have a, a watery mess here, <laughs> right? Are you another shopkeeper? You're a, okay. Interesting, you can buy all the modifiers and everything, which is kind of neat. And I don't know if it's uh, super cheaty or not, but I don't really know how to farm up a whole lot of guild. So uh, I have no idea. Uh, do we need minecarts for anything? We can induction smelter them back into iron with just some sand. Um, that could be an interesting way to make iron. So we'll leave those here and, uh, okay. So this just, there's like a shopkeeper spawner of some kind. Yep. Merchant spawner, delivery merchants. Whoa. Okay. So all of the enchanted books in the world, just everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, neat. Okay. That's cool. Uh, let's toss uh, this guy down. And what do we have here? Nitro ink sack. Okay, that's like orange dye. <laughs> uh, okay, that's funny. And you can make it into fins. Ooh, rubber sheets, sand, pulverized charcoal, rosin, chemist workshop, clay, and sap. And sap for, for sap, we need the basic sawmill. Yeah. All right, uh, that's not going to happen, but we have merchants all of the merchants here. So they just, I assume they will respawn and spawn back in. Uh, or that happens. Okay, everything takes 60% durability. We lose our acceleration one because that was uh, very low on durability and our bow is very low on durability. Okay, uh, well, that isn't difficult to make, but <laughs> we're back home now and I hope 
uh, and all of our uh, all of our <laughs> armor is gone. I hope that spawner didn't get destroyed, but I'm not gonna go check right now. Um, okay, that was a neat uh, adventure. I want to really make those fins, uh, but I don't think we have the resources uh, just yet to make these. Uh, and you can combine them with boots. Um, yeah, because we need the whole rubber sheets, and for that we need rosin. It looks like it needs be to be rosin. It doesn't say that it needs to be anything else, because the rubber sheets can only be made in here. All right, um, we'll see what we can go into next. <laughs> So I just made a bit of bronze in the kiln over here. It takes three copper and one piece of tin to make four bronze. And I need to put this soundproofing next to this because this is incredibly loud and annoying and also incredibly slow. <laughs> As you can see, like each one, each press that this hammer makes uh, takes 100 steam and then it makes the progress bar go a little bit further. And it takes, I believe, one bucket of steam. So 10 sm smacks of the thing to make one plate. <laughs> so that is a lot of steam and a lot of time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a little bit of coal. I'm actually just gonna make a stack of coal chunks. Actually, that's gonna make a little bit more, but we can toss them in here. Oh, well, actually, we're gonna toss that in there. This in here, that's no way. And then we're gonna just toss a couple more of uh, the mini charcoals in here. We're gonna grab another set of water, uh, which I have right here. And we can toss that in there. So that's gonna make a bit more steam and hopefully get us a bit more plates. Actually, we don't need to run this much because um, the steam is gonna keep up until so long as there's temperature in here. Okay, let's open up these treasure chests too as well. Uh, two elevators, not bad, and a chili pepper seed. Uh, an artisan's platinum trowel and aluminum gear. So the trowel I believe goes in this guy. We can exchange it with the hammer which I don't know why it has three slots. I don't know what goes in here or in here, but uh, the hammer only goes into the top slot and the trowel too in all of those slots. Oh, we can put them in here. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so that, that makes it easier. So I can just leave that in there uh, and even this one in here. Okay, cool. Uh, and the last one gives us a upgrade warrior, a sesame seed and do not consume bugged item. It, okay, uh, sure, we're gonna do uh, this number. Uh, and uh, always on. There we go. Okay. Uh, so this is making us bronze plates, and the bronze plates, I want to make the arboreal extractor, which is how we get sap, because there's also a quest line for making the fins, which is called Le Fin. So, and a diving mask, and diving leggings, and a tank, and ashen cloth, and reinforced diving leggings, reinforced fins, and even improved fins over here, which gives us ultra glide fins. And I don't know how I unlocked this quest, because this is the whole quest line that you have to go through. And these ultra glide fins are made how? In the tailor's workshop with shifting scales, which can be found from uh, from chests, apparently. Uh, and the reinforced fins require ashen fabric, which is slag stiffened fabric, which is uh, rubber sheets and slag and fiber mesh. It's a whole lot of things, a whole lot of crafting. Okay, uh, let's also eat some very delicious string cheese. Oh, that's instant eat. Uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm kind of waiting on those plates to get done, but I think this is gonna be it for today. We're just gonna craft this arboreal extractor and then we're gonna use it in the next episode. Uh, it also requires some other things, I believe. Yeah, we require some pipettes, which are just some glass. So let's get a tiny bit of sand going in the um, in the thingy Uh So let's do like 16 over here and we can split it up in half, lovely. And then we need a couple of buckets and a device frame, which is gonna be aluminum rods and aluminum plates. And the rods we can make in a blacksmith's work table or workshop. And we take three aluminum to get two rods and we needed four. So let's grab six aluminiums, aluminiums. And we can go one, two, one, two, one, two. And then grab ourselves, oh, uh, four rods, what? Yeah, not six. Uh, and then we need some plates, which we're gonna make in here. We're just gonna grab four aluminum. And I'm not even gonna bother with the scroll wheel because it's already so buggy. Uh, and we just need to wait for these to finish. And then we're gonna finish off the aluminum plates, make ourselves the device frame with some wiring kits that we have somewhere in here. There we go. We can actually do that right now while we... See, the scroll wheel doesn't work all the time, which is super wonky. Okay. So bam, 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 bam. I think I'm doing it in the right spot. And then we need the plates. 
So waiting on that, giving it more charcoal so it can make more steam and uh, we should be good. While we wait for our last aluminum plate to get made, we're gonna make the forge lexicon, which was a quest in here somewhere. There it is, and it gets us five gills. Lovely, we can toss that actually in our wallet. Uh, there we go, okay. And uh, then we can also craft ourselves the pipettes that we need, which are gonna be some glass panes, uh, and they do not stack, so we're gonna put them like so. Our plates are complete, so we can come in here and toss these in there to make, uh, hold on, our boreal extractor. You need a artisan's cutters and the solder. It's in the engineer's workshop, okay. Uh, so we need that, that. Okay, we need the cutters. So let's grab a little bit of, I don't know if it's cobble or regular stone, uh, cutter. We'll make some stone cutters if we grab ourselves a little bit of string. Cutters, 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 got them. Well, give them to me please, game, thank you very much. Uh, these can go in here, there we go. And now we can make the extractor with... Uh... <sighs> I automatically thought it was aluminum plates. It's silver plates. All right, <laughs> more waiting, I need silver. Oh God, one, two, three, four, and in here. Go, silver, go. <laughs> now that we have the right plates, we can make the device frame, and then we can make the extractor. Extractor. Over here, it's also in the engineer's workshop, so we have the pipettes, uh, which we each can just put in here like so. I think I should have enough of these like that. We need the device frame and then just a couple buckets, which is gonna be just a total of six iron here. And scroll wheel, please work perfectly. Also gonna make a stone yo-yo, because I wanna try that out, because I haven't played around with the yo-yo mod. Uh, and we're gonna put the buckets in like so, and then we get an arboreal extractor, which when placed, uh, where are you? Somewhere, diving in, yeah. Tree tapping. We are, if we place it at the base of a full tree, it will allow us to co slowly collect sap. Uh, and apparently Fluxed Fido Grow gets it going faster. Uh, so we can see the uses. Does it say anything? Oh, we can toss it in here though. Okay, interesting, right? Uh, so we can place this uh, next to a full tree, which we're gonna do in the next episode. In this one, we're just gonna play around with the yo-yo a little bit. Oh, so that does, it damages things, right? When you uh, when you hold it forward, I think. Hold on. Squiddy bits or anything that I can kill. There's a squid. You probably can't see it, but I can. Uh, hello, squid. Oh, do these not work underwater? They do not work underwater. <laughs> oh God. There's a shark. Eat, str eat stringy cheese. Oh, there's another shark. And the yo-yo doesn't reach. Uh, how does one escape the shark? Oh, I'm hurting the shark. I have poor food. Oh, we got the shark. Is there was another one. Where did he go? Did he despawn? Okay, but we did kill something with the yo-yo. And we need to get in. Okay, whew, we survived. Do we have any more food on us? I have uh, our apple juice. Nice. And everything is super quiet because <laughs> of soundproofing. Okay, right, but we have a yo-yo. We can uh, hurt mobs now. You sh I just have to remember to just right-click once and not hold right-click because then it's going to do a weird retrieve thing. Oh, and we can eat the apple juice to get more saturation. I forgot about that, but with that, I actually think I want to end today's episode. What am I holding in my hand? Oh, poop. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. It was a little bit weird. It had some exploration. It had some progression with uh, a whole lot of these blocks. I think it's going to be a bit of crafting in the beginning of the episodes here because we need to progress and get slowly automation, maybe going it going about doing some rats and getting automation with that going. 
but we'll see. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to see new videos. You can support me on Patreon as well if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.